mathematicians only are dealing with the structure of the reasoning, and they do not really care about what they're talking. They don't even need to know what they're talking about, or as they themselves say, or whether what they say is true. Now, I explain that. If you state the axiom, you say, such and such a so, and such and such a so, and such and such a so, what then? Then the logic can be carried out without knowing what the such and such words mean. In other words, mathematicians prepare abstract reasoning that's ready to be used if you will only have a set of axioms about the real world. But the physicist has meaning to all the phrases. And there's a very important thing that the people, who, a lot of people who study physics that come from mathematics don't appreciate. The physics is not mathematics, and mathematics is not physics. One helps the other. But you have to have some understanding of the connection of the words with the real world. And this is a problem which is not a problem of mathematics at all. Mathematicians also like to make their reasoning as general as possible. If you say, I have a three-dimensional space, uh, ordinary space, I want to talk about ordinary space. You know, you're in it and you measure distances and there are three numbers you need to tell where something is. You go breadth, width, and height, three-dimensional space, and you begin to ask them about theorem. Then they say, now look, if you had a space of n dimensions... That here are the theorems. Well, I say, yeah, but I only want the case three. Well, substitute n equals three. And then it turns out... <laughs> and then it turns out that very many of the complicated theorems they have are much simpler because it happens to be a special case. Now, the physicist is always interested in the special case. He's never interested in the general case. He does. He's talking about something. When you know what it is you're talking about, that these things are forces, and these are masses, and this is inertia, and this is so on, then you can use an awful lot of common sense, seat of the pants feeling about the world. You've seen various things. You know more or less how the phenomenon is going to behave. Well, the poor mathematician, he translates it into equations, and the symbols don't mean anything to him, and he has no guide but precise mathematical rigor and care in the argument. The, ma the mathematical rigor of great precision is not very useful in the physics, nor is the modern attitude in mathematics to look at axioms. Now, mathematicians can do what they want to do. One should not criticize them because they are not slaves to physics. It is not necessary that just because this will be useful to you, they have to do it that way. They can do what they will. It's their own job. And if you want something else, then you work it out yourself.